All right, welcome to the Student Starts of Fighting Jiu-Jitsu Instructional Channel. Today we have for you finishing the triangle from mount. We're going to go through that with Ryan and myself, but also make sure you check the description. There's a link to the Sweet Science of Fighting Underground. You can submit your match breakdowns for Ryan to break down for you, and you can also ask Ryan any questions on these instructionals, plus all the strength and conditioning programs are in there for you. So let's get to it. There's, a, there's several different setups we can do here. I'm going to sh uh, show one uh, setup, and then I'm going to show the more... Uh, the setup that's actually used a lot more now. Um, I, I would do this a lot many years ago uh, from um, when I was a brown belt. Uh, and I had this more seated position with mount. Now, these days, this is not really popular to be sitting up like this. We generally want to have you know, a, a cross face and, and putting some pressure down. But there are some times when you're in a match, maybe the guy's tired, and you know, you've been right doing the, riding the position out, pinning his hips down, it's pushing, and then we get here. If I get both hands, uh, uh, my two hands on his two hands, I'll play this little game where I, I punch and I pull, and we do this for a little bit. And what I'm looking to do is get a reaction um, from, uh, from James here. So if I, do, if I push, he's gonna push back, and then I push this way, he pushes back, and I push back like this way. So what this does is, is when I push, I'm gonna take my right leg, and I'm gonna throw it across his body. A lot of people make the mistake of doing this telegraph move where you're just like this and you're trying to like step over and do this. This is no good. Um, James could easily escape this just by maintaining inside position. So what I'm actually going to do is bypass this arm and not actually go for the triangle yet. What I need to do is isolate uh, one of his arms. So when I pull this arm up and I have a good frame, I'm going to toss the leg over and I'm going to put my leg here. Now what this does is as I slide down, I'm gonna go back and transition to mount. So when I slide off, I end up in this position. And then when I step my foot up, my leg over, you can see I have the arm trapped. The arm has been removed, and now I just have a head and arm. Okay, so what that looks like again, because sometimes this is a little confusing. I'm punching, I'm, push, I'm pushing and pulling here, and then I step the leg through, and I do almost like a baseball slide. I'm sliding through, I'm giving him another cross face, Pending that arm to the ground, I step over for mount, and I get back to this position. Um, so now I have the arm outside, and I have one arm inside. First thing I have to do is grab the head. So I'll post, I pull his head up off the ground as much as I can. When I pull his head up, I'm gonna lean to my right just a little bit. So I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna lean. And what this does is it frees my leg. Okay, I'm not, I don't have any flexibility. So I'm gonna lean this direction, and I'm gonna do a side kick. I want you to notice something real quick. I'm attached to his body as I'm making this transition. This is not this. If you step your leg up, he'll just pummel his, arm, his hand back in, and then we're right back to, to, to square one. So what I'm gonna do is with my hand, my, I'm gonna lean, my leg is gonna do basically a side kick here. I'm gonna stay attached and slide it up to his neck. Once I make contact with the side of his neck, I'm gonna pull and follow the opposite direction. And I'm gonna lean this direction. And now what I'm trying to do is I'm not gonna to fall to my back. I am not a big uh, believer in just going here and just starting to fall to my back. It's not wrong, um, but I'd rather try to finish from the top and make him uh, get me on my back, basically. So once I get this, I can feel I have a bite on his neck. I'll lean this direction. I can use my hand to help pull this if I need to. And this is pretty strong because even if he resists here and I grab his elbow, I can, I can lean this direction. It pulls his elbow across my body. And I have good base. And then I can, again, side kick, slide the side kick, lean, and then get here. And now I have the I'm mounted locked in triangle. I'm gonna start to rotate. And what I'm doing is, is I'm rotating this direction, bringing this knee up like this. That's, that's the movement I want. So, uh, one more time. I'm gonna get to this uh, mounted position. I'm gonna do a, a punch pull while you're here a little bit. And as soon as I feel like I have a good, I'm gonna slide throw over and slide to the side. And so this kind of looks like a little bit of a case of position, but I'm just trying to eliminate this arm. I maintain inside position on the opposite side. I step over, I cross face, I slide in, and I bring my knee to almost a knee on belly position, and I slide this leg over, and now I'm here. 
immediately what I need to do. I don't care too much about the arm. I care about the head, so I pull the head up. Once I pull the head up, I do a side kick. I lean and I side kick this direction. And I keep pulling his head and I make contact with his neck. Now I lean the opposite direction. I can grab the elbow, pull this direction, and really lean to get here. I could fall to my back here, but I don't want to. There's no reason for me to. I'm just gonna turn my knees together, and that's how I'll finish from top. If you fall to your back, it's okay. Um, you just have to finish from bottom, which is a whole other uh, uh, series. But, <laughs> but just try to finish from the top. Don't just fall to the bottom. Okay, so from a different angle, we're gonna do the punch pull. This will be a little bit of a fight here. The more he fights me here, the better. And as soon as I, it's pretty much that quick. I isolate, I give him a cross face, I step, and I go back to mount position, and then I'm back into a mounted position. Immediately, I need to grab the head, and I lean this way to do a side kick. And he can feel that my thigh never disconnected from mm -hmm. his neck. Okay, my, I don't, I don't want to have a gap there because he, he may be trying to swim the, the hand back in, but as long as my thigh is connected to the side of his neck, he can't get his hand in. Okay, so through the whole transition, there's no gap. I take this elbow, I lean it, I pull it in, I lean the opposite direction, and then I figure four, and then I turn and rotate. I'm turning my knees, facing the same direction. 